Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be upgrading the hard drive in a 17-inch pre-unibody MacBook Pro. We've already transferred our data to the new drive, shut down the computer, placed it on a soft, static-free work surface, and have gathered the tools listed at the beginning of this video. We are now ready to begin the upgrade. The first step is to close the lid and flip the MacBook Pro over. Remove the battery by first sliding the two latches away from you, then lifting the battery out. There are four screws holding the memory cover in place which will need to be removed. Once the screws have been removed, the cover will slide right out. To remove the top memory module, push outward on the clips holding it in until it pops up. When it does, slide the module out. Then, repeat the process for the lower module. Remove the two screws next to the memory compartment using your Torx 6 screwdriver. Turn the machine around so that you're looking at the front inside edge of the battery compartment. There are three screws here that need to be removed. Next, remove the four long screws along the bottom rear edge. Now, remove the four screws along the left edge of the machine. Do the same for the four screws on the right. Finally, remove the two screws on the rear hinge area. Now, we're ready to remove the top case. Loosen the top case by first lifting up in the back, then work your way around. If some of the clips stick, you may need to use a nylon pry tool to loosen them. Once you've loosened the top case, carefully lift up the front edge until you can see the keyboard connector cable. In most cases it's taped down, though in this particular instance it's not. Remove the tape if there is any, then gently detach the connector. Once you have, just set the top case aside. There are two more pieces of yellow capped on tape helping to hold things in place. Gently loosen the tape and peel it back to reveal the hard drive connector. Use your nylon pry tool to detach the connector, then remove the tape and set it aside for use later. Next, carefully remove any tape or adhesive holding the ribbon cable to the top of the drive. If it's taped, just set the piece of tape aside like the other one. The hard drive is held into place by a retaining bar which is secured by these two Torx 6 screws. Loosen the screws and lift out the whole retaining unit, screws and all. By gently lifting up on the right side of the drive, you should be able to get it up and out. Disconnect the drive from its ribbon cable before removing it completely. Again, using your Torx 6 screwdriver, remove the four mounting screws all along the edges of the drive. You're now ready to install your new drive. Take your new drive and hold it with the SATA connection facing up. On the left side, install the screws that don't have a rubber gasket on them. Install the screws with the gaskets on the right side. 
Attach the SATA connector to the hard drive, then slide it into place from right to left. Make sure that the pins on the left go into the gaskets. Make sure the hard drive sits flat, then secure it into place with the retaining bar. Attach the hard drive cable to the logic board by aligning it and then pressing it into place. It should snap in easily. You can now replace the tape pieces that you removed earlier. Reattach the keyboard connector to the logic board by gently pressing it into place. You can then reseat the top cover. Start at the front and work your way back, making sure that all the metal tabs are on the inside of the case. Close the lid, then replace the two screws along the rear hinge. Next, replace the four screws on the left side. When you replace the four screws on the right side, be sure not to put them in the screw holes that go with the DVI connector. You won't be able to remove them if you do and will probably damage the port. Replace the three screws along the inner edge of the battery compartment. Be careful as the rightmost one has a magnet nearby which can grab the screw off the tip of the screwdriver. Next, replace the four long screws along the bottom of the MacBook Pro. The two long Torx 6 screws go in next. Install the lower memory module first by sliding it into the lower slot at an angle until it stops, then push it down to seat it into place. Repeat the process for the top module. Replace the memory cover and the four screws that hold it in. You may now put the battery back in, Flip the MacBook Pro over, open it up, and restart.